me bend over, make you stop, 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 stop it up. I do a lot, me boom, boom, fat. have a Victoria's Secret sweater on um I just did my hair it's Monday today after I do some videos I'm going to go to um the library um back up for y'all go back I'm gonna go to the library so I can um do a couple of assignments that I got to turn in tomorrow and the next day because I'm a procrastinator, y'all. Like, I really be procrastinating about a lot of stuff, which I need to stop doing because it is not good to procrastinate. Yeah. So, but my setting might change because I'm about to become an RA. So, I'm speaking into existence. I'm going to be an RA, and that's on period. So, I might be, um, sometimes I might be in here, sometimes I might be at my, um, my room because I have to be on call. Um, a lot of times, so y'all see me mostly in there. So, yeah. So today's video is going to be my playlist that I listen to, a lot of songs I listen to. I listen to mostly some of the same artists. You know, Dirk and King, Vaughn. Vaughn. Those are my favorite two artists. Like, I love them so much. When Vaughn died, when I tell y'all, I'm not even lying. People be thinking I'd be lying. Like, I really cried when Vaughn died. Like, I was supposed to go see him at Rolling Loud, right? My legs hurt. I always say my legs hurt. There we go. There we go. I always, I like, I always, I always, um, no, I was talking about, I'm not on my list. But, um, everybody know Vaughn was one of my favorite artists. When he died, everybody be thinking, I be lying when I tell him, I really cried, bro. Like, people might think it's dramatic, but, like, when your favorite artist die, you cry. Like, one of my other friends, her favorite artist is Pop Smoke. And she cried too. Like, I didn't really know him like that. So I didn't really cry like that because I didn't really know him. I was just like, oh, that's just like sad because he was so young. I think he was like 20. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he was 20. Um, So like, that's really young. That's like the age I am right now. Like, like I can't imagine just like, you know, having fame and then having it all taken away because like, you know, people just be jealous of you or just, you know, it was young kids who did it. Um... But the whole situation with Vaughn or whatever, like, that really, like, crushed me. I was like, bro, what? Like, when I tell y'all 2020 was the year I was supposed to see him. Because y'all already know Rolling Loud was canceled. Um, We had the Rolling Loud this year, but, you know, there was different artists. But the following year before, um, it was canceled. And I had to cancel my plane ticket. Actually, I didn't even get to cancel my plane ticket. Like, I still had that plane ticket. Like, I could still get on another plane and stuff and go somewhere. I just gotta do mad stuff to get the ticket because it was just mad stuff that had to go with it. But yeah, so I was supposed to see him at Roll Out. I was so excited to see him, y'all. Like I made a whole video talking about so. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see my man once once Vaughn come out, boy. I'm there. I was about to be up there, but I was like, ugh, I was so mad. Like, bro, like really hurt me. I'm just like, ugh. And you know, Dirk famous now, so everybody on the bandwagon and stuff. I'm like, y'all was not with Dirk from the beginning. I was with him from the beginning. He should be singing to me, not y'all, not y'all. And if India see this, I love India. I love India. Love her. So, yeah, like, they so cute together, though. They is like the perfect relationship. I feel so bad because he has gone through a lot of stuff. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, he sacrificed Vaughn. He sacrificed D-Day and everything. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Y'all already know the life that he lives. Stuff comes with the life that he lives. So, I'm like, it's sad, but it's like, you know, it comes with the life he lives. So, yeah. So, we're going to get into it. Um, Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, I had listed everything right here. My whole playlist. Like, y'all might be thinking, like, it's crazy. There has been some new songs that came out that I want to add to this playlist because I might scratch some songs out because, I mean, I don't listen to, um, yeah, I don't listen to that song no more. I used to listen to that in high school. I mean, not high school, but college, my freshman year. But, yeah. All right, so number one on my list is Hell Hacks and Track Talks by, um, by Dirk. So he just came out, of the, came out with this song um, this year. Like, when I tell y'all, that song went hard. I'm like, hold up, Dirk. Dirk, stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. He went off on that song. I believe this is one of his, nah, Dirk Yo Crazy was one of his best songs. If y'all, if y'all real Dirk fans, y'all gonna know about Dirk Yo Crazy. That was 2018. 
That was one of his best songs. That's his, that's his best song, period, that I believe that was his best song. But Hellcats and Track Hogs, I like how it started off. He'd be like, man, what? Like, I'd be ready to be like, man, what? <laughs> like, y'all really don't understand. Like, I'd be ready, boy. Come out with a Draco, everything. I'd be ready, boy. Like, let me stop. I don't even know how to show me. But um yeah, so that was one of my favorite songs by um Dirk, like top it's not my top, but it's I think it's like probably like my second favorite song by him. Um so I listen to that song when I'm going to the gym, when I'm working out, because it's like you energize, you pumped up, like I remember claiming did say let's get out of on my life. Like you be running, I be running to the song. So I'm playing with him. Number two, coming in number two, two, is Crazy Story by King Von, featuring Dirk. That one, if you do it without Dirk, bro, it's not the same because he come in on the song Mad Swift, like, come on now, come on now, come on now, gotta drop on the, the nigga, he from Tennessee, I had a thought, what? Oh my God, that's my favorite one. Um... And then when Dirt just come in and just like and make the song up, like that's one of his like first songs that he really got popping off of. That was his first song that he got popping off of because I remember that song coming out and I'm just like, yo, what is this? Like this this song go hard. I'm like, hold up, hold on. King Von is going in. He is going in right now. But um, you know that was I believe King Von was everybody's favorite crush. Like let me know, like what y'all think? He was definitely everybody's favorite crush, right? Because it's not just me, not just me because I. Y'all already know, Vaughn, oh my gosh. Like, yo, what, bro, when I tell y'all, it was this boy at my college, bro, he looked just like Vaughn. My goodness. That's another story time. That's a whole nother story time, because we, we ain't gonna talk about old boy. We ain't gonna talk about that. But yeah. Hmm. Um, actually, this ain't number three. I had Shansia Rebel. This, this ain't number three for me. Well, it's top 20. So, yeah, I like Rebel. Um, I'm personally, I'm Haitian and Bahamian. My granddad was Haitian and my grandma was from the Bahamas. So, I, I mean, I didn't really know my Haitian side of the family. But when I tell people I'm Bahamian, they be like, yo, what's Bahamian? Because not a lot of people from the Bahamas and stuff, they be like, what's Bahamian? So, I just don't even say I just be like, I'm Haitian. I'm Haitian. Like, I don't even say nothing. Because, um... My family, I don't really know where my family brought, was from Haiti. I just know that my um, my granddad, he actually uh, came to Florida. And I, I never got the chance to meet him, but I got a chance to meet my grandmother. And our family's from Nassau, Bahamas. So hopefully for my birthday, I could go to Nassau. Oh, y'all, I got a package. Hold up. It's lit. Because what time it is? It's only Monday, 11.05. I'm going to go there after this. And y'all, that's my that's my dress that I'm doing for my um, weight loss. Feel me? But yeah, so my grandma was from the Bahamas. Um, you know, born and everything, came to Florida. Um, cause you know, all the Caribbeans go to Florida. If if you know, you know, they all go to Florida. They all in the WhatsApp. I'm in so many WhatsApps. It's ridiculous. But I didn't really grow up with that side of family. I grew up with my mom's side of family. They're all from Fredonia, New York. Um, Fredonia, uh, Buffalo, Jamestown. I don't really have that many family in Rochester, even though I was born and raised. Like I've been in Rochester my whole entire life, like straight from straight from Rochester. But it's just I have different family from different areas in New York. So that's on my side of family. I grew up on my side. My dad's side of family is still there. I still love my dad, even though we don't talk like that. But you know, certain situations. But we still I still love him to death. So yeah. So I believe that one is um well, it's not. It's not. In, it's not in order, y'all. It's not in order. So the next song is "Piss Me Off" by Lil Durk. Oh my gosh, that one, y'all. I just got into that song, but bro, when I tell you, I be ready, bro. I be like, bro, I be so ready. I know they probably looking at me like this girl doing videos and stuff, but yeah, I be ready, bro. Like that's really one of my favorite songs um by him too because like that's like a workout song for me because everybody keeps talking about oh he's not getting back he's not getting back this and that he can't do that bro he's famous he can't he can't go get them dudes himself he's gonna have other people get him obviously like i hate when be like oh he didn't get back for Vaughn and stuff he probably he did y'all just don't know y'all just don't know trust and believe dirt we know we know 
We know. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my favorite workout songs. Like, if you, like I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a video or whatever of me working out. Like, I'm gonna have somebody record me. But everybody, you wanna y'all wanna see like I be really working out like to that song. That song be getting me pumped up. But yeah. So the next song, uh, number five, I would say is Gallus. It's overrated, y'all. But I still like it. Everybody plays it at the parties. It gets annoying sometimes. Like when I tell you in New York, oh my gosh, Gallus gets played all the time. Y'all won't y'all won't go to a party in New York without without um Gallus being played about two or three times throughout the night. I see her. She came with her. like bro, it's so annoying. But now it's not annoying, but you still love the song, but it just be like, dang, y'all gonna play it every two seconds. Literally, literally. One of my favorite, um, my one of my favorite DJs. Her name is uh, DJ Blackout. Y'all already know. That's my girl. Her, um, she is one of the best DJs that I know. So yeah, she actually like she switches up her music and everything. So yeah, go on Instagram. Her makes it be fire and everything. DJ Blackout. Um, yeah, her Instagram. She, she probably won't even know that I, I, I mention her in this unless she watches my videos. But yeah, her 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 makes me fire. She even though she put Gallus in it, she made sure she made sure she put other stuff in it for like you know everybody to like the songs. I swear, like period. Y'all gonna yeah, book her period. So um the next song that comes in at which I'm at number. Four. Come Through by Summer Walker, because I don't know where I'm at, but the next song is Come Through by Summer Walker. Like, when I tell y'all I love that song, I like, okay, it's the live version when she was on BET, y'all. Um, when she was on BET, I was like, that's my girl, Summer. Yes, get it, Summer. I'm like, to what you love, let us, I thought it made me feel the Y'all can hear the little vocals. Y'all can hear the little vocals. I, I can't, I can't, I usually can sing, but yeah. But I like that song. I like the melody of the song. I like the flow of the song. So that's, you know, that comes in. And then the next song, Dirk Again. Y'all gonna keep hearing Dirk. Internet Sensation. I believe I'm on number seven. Internet Sensation. Like, that one be making me feel like, oh, I'm gonna find love one day. Like, I'm gonna have a dude that just treats me like how Dirk treats India. Like, they're so freaking cute, bro. I, I hope she watches my video one day. Because she's a YouTuber. Like, we collab, girl. We collab, girl. I love y'all. They're so cute together. Like, anybody try to break them, I'll be like, what? What? <laughs> but yeah, so, um, and that sensation is at number seven for my list. I love that song. Dirt knew what he was doing. Like, it was dedicated to India. I really loved it. I wish someone, like, I think she, was she in that? No, I don't think he made a video for that. It was, um, India part three. I wish he would have had India in that because some other girls, they can go on. Bye, put India in there. So, at number eight, it's all in by Lil Baby. So, Lil Baby, I feel like he is definitely up there. He's ha He has to be, like, top three for me. Lil Baby is definitely top three for me. And I can give y'all, like, a list of, like, my top playlists, um, you know, later or whatever. But I feel like Lil Baby is definitely up there because of the fact, like, he has been grinding. Like, if y'all really see where he came from and then just see where he's at now, He's definitely grinding. He he do, he's doing his thing. Like even though he's not mm -hmm, the most loyal person, he's still a little baby. He's still, you can't front like little baby ain't got good music. At the end of the day, he still got good music. He still do what he do. So you really can't hate on him because he out here. He doing what he gotta do. So um, at number nine is drinking and smoking by Future and Lil Uzi. Future and Lil Uzi definitely did their thing on that song, Drinking and Smoking. My dance team actually did a dance to that. Like, it is so cute, y'all. Like, if y'all go look up Legacy, um, Buffalo State Legacy, y'all go to see our dance performances and stuff. Um, they actually did it to Drinking and Smoking. I don't know if they posted it or not, but they definitely did. Um, it was so fire. Like, it was like a little majorette theme. Like, yes, we do majorette. We do hip-hop. We do all of that. So, if y'all come to Buffalo State, then that's what y'all going to be in for. It's like a it's like a HBCU PWY. Like, it's so many black people here. I barely see white people. Like, I see white people, but we run the school. Black people run this school. So, at number 10, I would have to say high fashion 
by um by uh what's his name? Roddy Rich. I don't know what I said Rich Homie Kwan. I still love Rich Homie Kwan. You know, yeah. But Roddy Rich. So in ninth grade, this is definitely my workout song. Like Shady made that. Not y'all ain't know vlog. I fashion like all y'all G wagon on a roll, y'all. I'm gonna stop ice on you because you gotta call her. I know I gotta keep my shawty on go go. Drop that to the flow flow. Hold on, yeah. <laughs> Get there, period. But yeah, that's one of my workout songs. I used to see that song every day. Like, it really got me pumped up and everything. So, yeah. Tip, okay, so I said tip 11. <laughs> song 11 is Say So by Doja Cat. Doja Cat came so far. Everybody counted. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody counted Doja Cat out just because she made comments about, you know, being black and stuff. She's a black girl herself. She's literally, like, a, like lighter than me. But we're, like, I'm brown skinned, but she's lighter than me. At the same time, she's still black. She's still a black girl, so she can't really say nothing racist because she's still black. Like I don't, I don't know if she's half white, but at the same time, she's still black, so she can't really say anything racist. If y'all don't like it, oh well. Kiss her behind. Kiss her a. I don't care. It's still my girl. But her live performance with the VMA performance, oh my gosh, it was so good. Like she had like the little um. Like the old school 20s, the 1920s look or whatever. It was so fire. I was like, I really love Doja Cat. She really did her thing like, said it now to know. Like, I don't know who it is. Like, say so. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like that. Hey. I like when she was like, do that, do that, do that all night long. Boy, I can go on and on from. <laughs> but yeah. So we gonna get into number twelve. Tootsie. Tootsie is my boy. He's from New York. He's from upstate New York. Period. He's from Syracuse. I love Tootsie. His song "Truth Be Told." Oh my gosh, that was my jam. I actually learned that song from an ex. We not gonna talk about him because we ain't gonna give him no clout on here. Period. But I will do a story time if y'all wanna know. He really made twenty twenty horrible for me. Like that was just bye. But yeah, so his song, he put me on the song, Truth Be Told. Um, I really love that song. I don't know the song that I'm on, but I ain't rich yet. Truth Be Told, I ain't rich yet. But, okay, I don't know the words, y'all, but I know how the song go. I like this song. It was a good workout song for me, too. Like, I can say, this is like my workout playlist. Like, I'm not gonna lie. All these songs I listen to when I work out. That's probably why. Like, I be pumped when I listen to every song on here. All right, so... So song number 13, it's going to be two songs, um, India part one, part two, part three. Like what I tell y'all, I love all three of these junks. India, he did her thing for her. Like he, he really loved India, bro. Like I love how he loved her. Like all three of them songs, three, three, he carried. That's all I'm going to say. On to the next one. All right, so, like, I'm jumping down to, like, I'm just going to do the, I got how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven more to do, so we're just going to go back to one. Play With Us by Lil Durk. If y'all, if like, if y'all real Lil Durk fans, y'all going to know these songs, because a lot of people don't know the songs. Like, a, a lot of fans just started listening to them. And, like, I had this boy tell me, you just started listening to Durk this year. This year? This year? Lil Durk's been my favorite artist yet. Forever, forever. Every, all my friends know I love Lil Durk. Everybody knows Lil Durk is my man. <laughs> like, I love Lil Durk, bro. Like, I'm gonna go to a concert so bad. God forbid anything happens soon. Cause I will, bro, when I tell you I won't talk to nobody, I'm gonna have a whole attitude with everybody. Like, nobody better talk to me at all. Play with us by Lil Durk. Yes, I will play Lil Durk on the arts. My girls, y'all wanna know. Actually, I'm gonna start saying my girls and my guys. Cause I got I probably got some dudes on here too. Both of y'all. My girls and my guys, y'all already know Lil Dirk will be played and played and played and played to the end of time. In the time, period. So yeah, play with us is one of my on my favorite list. Um I love that song. It's a it's a good workout song as well. My whole team shut off on me because they, I had to clear up some storage or whatever. So we gonna get back to I think it was on number two because I ha I had redid everything. So number two is Wakisha by Money Bag Yo. Wakisha, oh my gosh, I love that song. Like y'all really don't understand. I love Wakisha. When he started out this song, I'm sitting here looking for Keisha like. 
like, do you love me? Do you love me not? Let me wait. Stop. Like, that's really my song. Like, <laughs> that's like, I had seen him. Um, when did I see him? I seen him like four weeks ago. I believe it was in October I seen him. That concert was crazy because if y'all know Rochester, they don't know how to act, bro. Like, bro, somebody's always getting shot. Like, they do not know how to act. I mean, you can't even go to an event. But the event was fun, but it wasn't fun when I had gotten trampled on. Like, it's like, and I really understand what people be saying about these concerts. Like, if y'all see what happened with Travis Scott, respect prayers and respect prayers for all the families that lost. Like, that, sh that jump was just crazy. Like, it made me so mad. Like, I'm just like, he should have stopped the show when he knew, like, people were passing out. Like, Michael Jackson did the same thing. Like, stuff. Karma, karma is real, cause I don't know. I feel like that was just like a ritual. I don't know. But yeah, I got trampled, and I had to like thank God that I like ran under a table because like the people that were like it was just scary. Like y'all really don't understand. Like it's, oh, it just was, everybody was running because everybody thought somebody was um, shooting somebody. I guess somebody did get shot in the um, in there, but that was before we act, like before we even got into the uh, concert. Everybody's running. So what y'all think? When people run, we gonna run. Like when y'all see black people run, that's how you know to run. Because no, don't be the, don't don't be one of those stupid black people that just be looking like, oh, what's going on? No, you run so you don't get hurt. All right. So tip. I mean, I keep saying tip, y'all. Um, number three is Scrubs by Lil Durk. Everybody know I love this song. It's my workout song. There's no need to explain anymore. Like it's my workout song. All right. Um. Wayne Story comes in at four, bro. Like, I love that. Like, I don't give I don't care. I, it's Wayne Story. The next three is Wayne Story, Crazy Story Part 3, and Take Her to the O. All three of them songs, he's a, like, wonderful storyteller. And why he told. That was a good one. Um, oh, it's hot, y'all. It's really hot. I'm about to turn on the heat. But he is a great storyteller. I believe... Y'all cannot front like King, but y'all can y'all better give him a respect when everybody say like, oh yes, he's the best storyteller of all time. Y'all cannot say who is really storytelling better than King Von, bro. Like really, like I'm really having serious conversations with people like, bro, who's better than King Von? I mean, Dirk was, but you know who's better at storytelling than King Von? Let's be real. Let's 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 be real. Let's be real. He's up there. And if you if you disagree with me, that's on you. But that's that's just on you. All right. So the last one is Winnie Houston, Greatest Love of All. I really love this song, Winnie Houston. I I'm actually gonna do an old school playlist. I'm probably gonna hold off on this one. But I'm gonna do an old school playlist because I do listen to my old school songs when I work out too. Because I just be up there jamming like my love to you. Hey boy, I be up there like Martin. Hold on, hold on. Hey. teach the young kids you know what i mean if you listen to the song if you don't know the song look it up it's called grace of a wall by when houston it's like a really encouraging song like, i've listened to it when i um when I, my freshman year when i would like get up and stuff for school and stuff because it was just like motivating for me so yeah so i hope y'all like this um video like subscribe and comment down below what y'all want to see more of and i'm going to be doing more hair reviews more oh i'm gonna do story times too I put everything on my channel. Like, y'all gonna be coming with me through my day in life, everything. Like, who says you gotta do one thing on the channel? Hmm? Hmm? Right. So, yeah, if y'all like my video, boys and my girls, my girls and my guys, y'all already know what it is. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if y'all wanna see more content. I'll be posting consistently, consistently, consistently because your girl's trying to grow her YouTube channel. And, you know, I wanna reach a lot of young girls, but a lot of black. Black or white. Black, white, Puerto Rican, everybody. Young girls, guys, everything. 
give y'all tips and advice, you know, because there might be some, you know, there might be some guys that watch my stuff. So, and I also do hair too, as y'all obviously can see, I did my hair. Oh, lace wear, like really, where's the lace? I, there's like a little bit of glue, but it's, it turned a little bit of white. But at the same time, I still look cute. I put layers on it. I cut this part a little bit shorter. But as y'all can go see in my other video, I'm going to put it in at the end of my end screen over there of um, <clears throat> the video that I did for this hair. Yeah. So if y'all like this video, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I love y'all. Bye.